Hey, I'm Carlin Audio. Did you know that I sell enamel pins over on Etsy? Now you do. Check out the link to my store below. Thanks. Enjoy the audio. All right, let's see. I have a... What have we got in here? A couple of Zoom meetings today, so I do need to wear a work shirt. But other than that... Which pajama pants go the best with this teal polo? Star Wars or the plaid? Hey, honey, are you almost done in the bathroom? I could use your input on my work wardrobe. Hey, baby doll. What's wrong? You look upset. Come here. What? Why are you pushing me away? What's going on? Yeah, I remember you said you've been feeling exhausted. Made sense with all the sleep issues you've been having. So, uh, what's different today? What? It was masking the symptoms of what? Oh, you have a fever. Okay. Well, you know, that's okay. That's a thing that happens. Oh, it's not just that? Fever, headache, body aches. Oh, and a rash on your arms? Can I... Oh, yeah, I see it, honey. Dang, how high is your fever? 99.8. Okay, uh, did you take something for it? Yeah, I think you should. And you need to drink lots of fluids and get some rest. Come on, let me... Oh, baby, you're shaking. Shh, no, come here. No, don't pull away. Let me hold you. I know, I know, I know. You're scared that you have it, baby. But listen to me. I've already been exposed. I mean, we shared a bed last night. Shared drinks last night. I kissed you a whole bunch this morning. I, You know, I've already been exposed for days. The only thing that's separating right now is going to do is make us both miserable. And leave you alone and afraid. I'm not going to do that. Understand? We're in this together. We share a house. If that's what it is, then, you know, it's already here. I could be an asymptomatic carrier, for all I know. I mean, shoot, maybe it was me that brought it in, not you. Either way, the last thing I'm going to do right now is send you to a corner by yourself. Breathe, sweetheart. You're okay. No, no, no. You're not short of breath. You're you're panicking a little. Come on now. Deep breaths for me. Yeah, deep belly breaths. There. That's it. Yeah, see? You can take deep breaths. There's nothing wrong with your breathing. Let's, uh... Let's sit down and figure this out, okay? No, mm -mm. I won't let go of you. Hold me as tight as you want, baby doll. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you some medicine for the fever. I'm gonna bring you tea, water, and some juice to drink. We're gonna call your doctor and let them know your symptoms. I'm going to bring my laptop and work here, unless you're sleeping. You are going to drink and rest and snuggle the dog and watch Netflix. That's all I want you to worry about right now. Thinking about what show you'd like to binge. Hmm. I know. No, no, I know. You're scared. 
That's completely understandable, by the way. Just, just, you know, think about a few things, okay? That's not the only virus in the world right now. You could have something else. And second, and this is much more important, the odds are in your favor. I know we've seen a lot of scary stories about hospitals and long-term side effects, but you know what doesn't make good clickbait? All the stories of the hundreds of thousands of people that get better at home. The ones who stay in, listen to their doctors, rest up, and just get better. We're not hearing their stories, but the sheer numbers tell us that those are the majority. A lot of cases aren't serious and are completely treated at home. Hmm, I know. No one can say for certain what'll happen. But you are strong. You are healthy. I know that you have it in you to fight. And I'm going to be with you every step of the way. I'm right here with you, okay? Yeah, the test is pretty awful. But I've heard it's at least awfully quick. And I can drive you if you want. Maybe it'll be one of those, you know, drive through testing places. And you can hold a dog on your lap while they do it. I mean, <laughs> you'll probably want one too. <laughs> There's a little smile. Listen, I know can be scary. Truthfully, I'm a little scared too, but most people can survive this. So, let's do all the right things, get you through it, okay? No, 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 no. Don't worry about work. Just send a quick email to your supervisor about your symptoms, and I'm sure they'll understand. Hmm. I don't know how you would have gotten it, baby. We both work from home and only go out for groceries. I know you had that picnic with your friends, but you all stayed far apart and wore masks. <sighs> Honestly, it could have been from anywhere. I don't know that we'll ever know for sure. You should probably tell your friends, though, just in case. But I don't think you exposed them. No, oh, easy now. Hey, hey, take some more of those deep belly breaths for me, okay, baby? There you go. I know that what I'm asking is hard, but it doesn't do you any good to keep thinking about the worst things that can happen, okay? You need to think about the best possible outcomes. You can pray if you want to, or what's that thing you do? Managing, no, no, uh, manifesting? Yeah, open up your chakras and all that jazz. Well, no, I don't usually hold with all that stuff, but it's meaningful to you, so I respect it. And in times like this, it can be really powerful. And don't feel like you need to, you know, keep this all to yourself. Use your support network. Tell your friends. Ask them for prayers or good vibes or memes to make you smile. I mean, we're all going to pull together to get you through this, you know? I bet they'll even offer to bring us some soup and groceries and stuff. Look at me, baby doll. You are not alone. I love you, and I'm right here with you. We're going to get through this together. This is not the end, so don't you talk like that. Today is day one, and we're making our battle plan. We're going to keep you medicated, hydrated, and rested, so your body can fight this off. 
Understand? Good. Now, you stay here and call your doctor. I'm going to go make you some tea and get the medicine, okay? We'll get you tucked back in bed just as soon as we can, hon. That virus is not even going to know what hit it. Just, just imagine your immune system fighting back like a vicious game of whack-a-mole. <laughs> of course you can imagine your white blood cells look like me. <laughs> I mean, I am your knight in shining armor, right? You can be my princess to save. <laughs> See? Already complaining about my cheesy jokes. You're gonna be alright. I know it, baby. <laughs>